Kabocha squash is a Japanese variety of winter squash that is becoming very popular these days and with good reason and is seemingly becoming easier and easier to find. Now they have this round squat shape to them, kind of like a pumpkin, and the outside is very hard and knobby and it has this rich green color. Now the skin, by the way, is 100% edible and then once you cut inside, the flesh is this beautiful yellow-orange color. Now as for the flavor, it's very sweet, a little bit nutty, and it has this light, almost fluffy texture to it. A lot of people say that it tastes like a cross between a pumpkin and a sweet potato, and I would have to agree that that would be a rather accurate description. Now, because kabochas are winter squash, you're gonna notice them start to pop up early October, and then they usually run through most of March. Nutritionally speaking, kabochas are rich with beta-carotene, and we know that because of that beautiful yellow yellow orange hue. They also loaded with fiber, iron, and packed with vitamin C and some B vitamins. Now one cup of kabocha squash is just 40 calories and seven grams of carbohydrate, which is half of what you would find in butternut squash. So this is great for low carbers, but honestly, it would be a delicious, nutritious addition to any type of diet. When you're shopping for a kabocha squash, you want to look for a squash that feels heavy for its size. That's how you know that it's not dried out and that it's fresh and still holds a lot of moisture. And it's going to be bumpy and dull on the outside. That's completely fine. That's how it's supposed to be. You just want to make sure that it doesn't have any soft spots. Once you get your squash home, you just want to store it in a cool, dry place. I usually just leave mine right on the counter and it will last you up to a month that way. But I guarantee you that is not going to happen because you're going to be so excited to cook and eat your squash. Now, when you're ready to work with your squash, first thing you want to do is give it a good rinse under some cold water. Remember that skin is edible, so you want to make sure everything is clean, clean, clean. Now, the kabocha squash, in my personal experience, is probably one of the most difficult winter squashes to cut through. It is a hard-headed squash. So here is a trick that I have learned that works beautifully. Take the squash, pop it in the microwave for three to four minutes. This is going to make the skin a little bit softer and a lot easier to cut through. You could also throw this into the oven at 350 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes, just enough to soften that skin. Then you're gonna get yourself a good heavy knife and you're gonna come over the top of the squash and it's gonna be much easier to pierce through and then you're gonna cut it in half vertically. If it's a little tough, just rock the knife back and forth and that will help you get the job done. Now, once you've got your squash open, you're gonna see that it has these beautiful seeds inside, just like a pumpkin. And just like a pumpkin, you can save them and roast them up. So if that's something you want as a little snack, make sure that you don't throw them away. When it comes to cooking the squash, we've got a couple of options. It really depends what you want to do with your squash, right? First option is you're gonna scoop out all the seeds and the membrane around them. Put the squash flesh side down on a rimmed baking sheet and then pop this into a 400 degree oven for about 25 to 30 minutes or until the flesh is nice and tender. From here, you could sprinkle on a little cinnamon and drizzle a little honey if you wanted a sweeter version, or you could do a little salt, pepper, garlic powder, and maybe a little curry powder if you wanted something a little more savory. Then you could just scoop and eat it as is. This is also great if you wanted to use it for a soup or if you wanted to even try putting some in your smoothie. So that would be option number one. Another way to cook the squash, and this is really one of my personal favorite ways to do it, is once you've got the seeds and the membrane scooped out, then you're gonna continue to cut the squash into wedges, just like if you were cutting a melon, right? Like a cantaloupe. Then from here, I toss them into a bowl and you can season them with a little olive oil or coconut oil, salt, pepper, sprinkle of garlic powder and a little curry powder. Make sure all of the pieces are coated in those spices and the oil. Then lay them out on a rimmed baking sheet pop it back into that 400 degree oven for about 20, 25 minutes, flipping them halfway through. The goal here is to get a nice golden brown exterior, but a nice tender interior. And remember that skin is 100% edible, so it's just like a bite and go kind of thing. It also makes a beautiful side dish to a roasted chicken or to some 
fish, and I also love to make it and then serve it on top of a winter salad. It is a showstopper. So now that you know what to do with kabocha squash, come on down to the comments below and tell me what you're gonna do first. And if you guys like these 101 videos, please give them a big thumbs up and make sure to share them with anybody else you know who's trying to eat better. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Danny Speeds. I'll see you back here next time with some more mm -hmm, clean and deliciousness. Cheers. Kabocha squash from South. Kabocha squash is a Japanese Kabocha squash is a Japanese variety. Right, you know, let me look at the words. I had it right, it's a Japanese variety of winter squash. You want me to say all of that?